The following is a transcript of a conversation between Matthias de Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am. 23rd April, 2021. Expressiveness. Me. Before I start, I want to tell you that the task you set out yesterday is difficult for some people. Climbing stairs. I am. Well, don't do them. Me. And what do they do? I am walking. And if they don't walk... They slap, and if they can't use their hands, they snap their teeth, and if they can't, then imagination. The idea is to pass levels. They exist in the mind, but doing them with a part of the body lowers it to experience, for everything you do in the universe is recorded in action. Me. What about inaction? I am. It is the counterpart of the action, and it is not exempt from reaction, because not acting is another way of generating reactions, memory, information. Inaction is the instance in which the will recognizes that not putting energy is the best way to allow something to take its natural course and reorder. Action is the instance in which putting energy into operation is considered to be what reorders the course of things. However, both opt for the same result, albeit in different ways. In any case, if our purpose is to manifest a new reality, action is the most optimal way to move energy. Conversely, to whether the purpose is to ascend to other dimensions, inaction will be the best way to elevate you into the subtle without being grasped or pressured by the polarized energies of the environment. Me. I understand. And since our path is to manifest the I am, it is necessary to move the body. I am. Or do something mechanical, like the mantric beads of a rosary, tazbe, or japa mala. The mechanism is imprinted in the brain, recorded with the intention with which it is performed. So, any repetitive or mechanical activity is a way to record data in the brain or cells. Me. I understand. That is why schools use the system of repetition and memorization a lot. I am. Yes, but in a negative way. Me. Why would it be negative in education? I am. Because education is not about filling with external data, but about activating internal potentials. In terms of teaching, repetition helps memorization, but does not generate free thinkers, but dependent on external data. Create people without judgment, but group. The system of mechanical repetition is used as a form of meditation, in which repetition becomes a habit, and the cells recognize it as their own, with which it is integrated. However, when it comes to forming free beings, the system ceases to be one of inactive integration to become expressive action. Me. What would that be like? I am. One of the four fundamental pillars of the universe is expressiveness, expression. We have seen the expression long ago and the importance of what it means. Get out of the pressure, expressio, releasing what was contained inside. And that which is contained is trapped energy, which, when released, expands, unleashing a force that we call action. This word is the participle, actus, of the Latin verb agere, which means to move forward, that is, to carry out. To move forward, outward, the energy that was inside under pressure is to express in action. When we manifest inexpressive actions what happens inside, the body has the opportunity to recognize what it inhabits and act in resonance to it. Me. This leads to expressiveness, then, the act of expressing oneself, the quality of acting expressly. I am. In many cultures, expressing what is inside is counterproductive due to the moral origin of cultures. Do you remember? Me. Yes. Morality is constructed in relation to the adaptation to a space they call dwelling, and the inhabitants build the culture according to the customs of that territory, which they call moral, from the Latin moris, to inhabit a site. Related to the sowing and harvesting, the tradition, what is said among several, is built according to the field, which gives the word crop, colere, which originates the word culture. I am. So if apples are planted in one place, and all that is harvested are apples, and culture and morality have been linked to the apple, when suddenly someone can't think of anything other than bananas, they could be judged by the group. Me. Sure. I am. Unless. Me. What. I am. Let him do it with humor. I am. What was humor? Me. The liquids in which the ancients interpreted that they constituted the body, the humors coming from moisture, humus, wet earth. I am. 
Thus, from the ancestral vision, everything that a being feels inside will be related to the order or disorder of its internal liquids, the humors. Humor is the way some cultures found themselves to be able to express what is inside without being judged. Me. With laughter? I am. No, with any of the humors. The teachers, philosophers, educated the students through what we could call the acts, that is, practical actions where the experience allowed the assimilation of the concepts. In this way, they ordered, placed the ideas and concepts in a fair, harmonious way that everyone could understand. In Indo-European, ordering, adjusting, placing well is said ar, what in Latin you know as ars, artis, me, art, I am, exactly. And there was one art in particular that allowed everyone to observe, see, what was happening in the moods, me, the theater, I am, from the Greek, thea, vision, see, observe, and tron, instrument, means by which something is done. The art of theater was a fundamental tool for the education of the immoral, which transpolated traditions into the absurd, allowing the humors, different from the feelings of each day, could become means of learning. Theater allowed an individual to become whatever he wanted, to say what he wanted, to react in absurd ways without being judged, to raise controversies in subtle ways, the dramatization of reality opened the internal world to the external, taking it out of ceremonial and spiritual seriousness to pass it to a daily and more earthly plane available to everyone. It was the initial step to the inner freedom of the psyche, of the soul, which allowed men to behave like women and women like men, which allowed them to laugh at kings and politicians without being imprisoned, and even to exalt the gods to ridicule. It was a tool of social criticism, but also of human education. For thousands of years, and especially in recent centuries, the actions diversified, inspiring, deceiving, awakening wills, illusioning, opening the imagination, describing utopias, exaggerating reality, laughing at tragedies. Darker shadows can manifest in theater, being seen simply as art. Now, a tool like this is a double-edged sword. Me. Why? I am. Because an artist, actor, or actress can use theater and humorous expression as a way to hide what they really have inside. Or on the other hand, they can use it as therapy to perform catharsis and heal. Me. Clearly, the second option is the best. I am. Well, in the first, one feels safe, being able to let go of what he feels, but deny it in real life, living with half-truths or lies that became truths, but in the second option, those lies and truths are in front of oneself, allowing oneself to see with consciousness what is hidden inside. And the best theatrical aspect to this is the improvisation of psychomagical acts. Me. What are they? I am. They are false situations which you build with agents randomly and without thinking about what you are going to do with it. You throw yourself into expressing yourself with hands, mouth, looks, various actions, letting it be your interior that guides. Me. Uh, okay. An example? I am. Well, think you have a conflict with a partner, but you don't know why or how to resolve it. First, you must identify where it comes from, but you are not ready to face the other because you have nothing clear. So, you imagine that person is a tree. Me. One that I see on the street, let's say, physical? I am. Yes, a real tree. And you start talking to it, using looks, hands, your whole body. You can fight with the tree, yell at it, hug it, cry, dance, sing to it, always imagining that it is the person. And then, for example, you pluck some leaves from the tree and pronounce, this is mine, it was up to me, and I'll take it with me. You look for a place that you consider your own, and there you put those leaves, recovering what that person had taken from you. These acts leave an imprint on your body and mind to know how to face the situation, to live the fact. Me. Like those times when there is an argument we don't know what to say, and then in the shower we come up with the best dialogue, but it's too late. What you say is to do that dialogue, dramatizing it. I am. That's right. As in a therapy of family constellation, in a ceremony of rebirth, in an act of psychomagic, you improvise an unreal, magical act to make the soul, the psyche, express itself. 
Expressiveness invites us to make real everything that lies within, to release the pressure of the soul and spirit within the being, and theater is the best option for it. Me. I guess this is what today's task is about. I am. That's right. Remember how when you were a child and you used your imagination to talk to dolls, pieces of wood, bricks, when pillows were people, trees were giants, boxes were castles, branches were swords. Be a child again for today and dare to imagine. I am. I remember when I started to remember. When I was 12 years old, I closed the doors of the dining room to be alone and I played very loud classical music and with a broken radio antenna, I conducted the orchestra. But even more, I imagined incredible things that would solve all of the problems of the world. I imagined myself in school and to the sound of the songs, I could imagine how the beings of the four elements appeared, came looking for me, and I undertook a journey through the earth looking for the other elements. I was the water and the other three were scattered to other countries and I had to find them. So I imagined the magnificent and fantastic ways in which I appeared before them, taking them all to Egypt, where I imagined that we reactivated everything as it was before, as if by magic, all while running around the table, I would go up to the couch, hide behind the curtains, put towels as layers, and use the antenna as a magic wand. And sometimes everything would get melancholy, and I would sit in front of the faces of those people I hoped to meet one day, to hug them and tell them how much I missed them. I am. This is what you need to do again, at least for today. The task of our day of expressiveness implies that you look for that place where you consider it a good place of learning, and you face all those things that you find difficult to learn, that you refuse to see or that you cannot express about yourself. Silenced words and truths, things you should let go, those you hope to learn and take as part of yourself, and act them, Talk about everything, say it, let go, dramatize, put all the strange and emotional faces you need, use your hands and legs a lot, act as if it were not you or as what you would like to be, become a tree, an animal, a fish, a dancer, a musician, a superhero, release everything that is hidden in you and do it in consciousness, for what arises from you is your reality and it can become everyone's. Let your voice be released because it will be your lyrics, words, verbs, affirmations, and songs that will shape this reality. The vibration that is released by your strings caresses the waves of the quantum world that design music in the physical world. Without fear or shame, allow yourself to become the musician of your new reality. Take back the broken antenna to make it a baton and conduct the orchestra of your moods, releasing the expression of all the music that lives in you. Me. I am the designer of my music. I am. In the beginning, it was the Mahas, the sleeping void. His dreams were three. Hum, het, whom. Inspiration, contemplation and exhalation. His breathing became music, and by his singing, Mahas, he awoke. <laughs>